this has been one of the most uh, <laughs> humbling and daunting moments. This is what was a new old stock, essentially, or only 35 in pieces. This whole story began when I shot one roll through this and it worked great. And then I went to shoot another roll and all the pictures came out blank. And I looked at the shutter and I noticed that it wasn't closing all the way. Sometimes I would fire it and it would stay open. And I thought, well, maybe this is some kind of a problem with lubrification. And it wasn't. It actually turned out when I looked inside the camera and when you've got the camera all put together, not in pieces like this, you can see this little section where my thumb is, you could see that inside the back of the camera. And what I saw was this little L-shaped lever. You see that thing that's right at the end of my thumbnail? That was actually riding up on top of this little rocker that controls the shutter. It was out of alignment. It was bent. Very clearly, I had accidentally shut the lens without cocking the shutter, which is verboten. They tell you never do that. It's a bit frustrating knowing that accidentally doing that without any extra force caused it to bend this part. This whole, there's like a, there's like a pin here that's mounted to the base plate. And this whole mechanism was bent out of shape. And so when I would fire the shutter, this little lever, instead of hitting the back of the shutter thing here, would ride up on top of it. Not good. So I boldly looked at a video online about repairing the shutter, which is far deeper than I've done here. That guy actually gets the shutter blades out and everything. And I wasn't going to do that. But I got it open and got it uh, into bits enough to get to this point. This is scary. <laughs> Indeed, I don't know that I'm going to get this thing working ever again. I have to accept that there's a pretty good chance this camera is never going to take another photo in its life. With that said, it came dangerously close, dangerously close to that point a few minutes ago. I had this all set because what I did was I went in there and I found a way to get some leverage and push and bend and twist. And I was able to get this thing back into shape where it's no longer riding on top of the shutter mechanism. And I believe it's working. I'm not going to know for certain until I put the whole thing back together, but it looks like it's working. And I was ready to do my victory dance. I was just basking in the glory and the beauty of this fine mechanism repaired. And then it slipped off my lap. This thing slipped off my lap and onto the floor and I heard something break. Uh, there may have been some bad words spoken. And I found this thing. This is a cam that controls the shutter speeds. You look on the back of it and you'll see a little snail shape right there, a little spiral. Well, this had been attached to the front. And in fact, I didn't find it this way. What I found was this metal piece, what I found was this metal piece with the center part broken and still on the camera and in the plastic piece laying on the floor. So it's actually broken. And uh, this is, well, my first thought was to dash the camera against the wall and throw all the parts out. Uh, calmer thoughts prevailed. These are the two pieces of the broken part. And at first, when I saw this, I figured the camera was trashed. But when I looked close, I realized that the edges of the brake are super clean. In fact, when I fit them together, it fits together absolutely perfect. See that? So this is 
prime candidate for super glue. Now, the only kind of super glue that I normally have is the Gorilla Glue, which is really gloppy. And so I had to go raid the cat nails, these little kitty caps that uh, my wife has that we occasionally put on our cat and prevent her from scratching the furniture. This is super glue, so I'm just going to use this in that nice little tube to get it in the right place. Get this thing glued up and see how this works. I got one chance at this. I got one chance and I hope I don't screw it up. If that works, it's quite possible I can put this camera back together. One other thing happened though when that fell, that little piece broke and I noticed that you see this little flippy thing over here this is where or so right here my thumbnail is that's the post where the shutter speed dial goes and the cam works against I think this little lever right there or maybe that one in any case there's this little flippy thing here which is part of the click mechanism and I noticed that it's got a little hole in the top a little hole that's asking for a spring to be inserted and I looked at the guy's camera on the video, and sure enough, there's a spring there. Well, why don't I have a spring there? Well, clearly it parted ways with my camera when this thing fell on the floor. I searched and searched and searched, and son of a gun. You see that? That is a spring that's no thicker than a piece of pencil lead. I found that on this floor. There's no way I was going to find that in the dark on this floor. This is a miracle that this uh, spring did not just uh, disappear into the far reaches of my dark room and never to be found again. So I really hope I haven't lost anything else. I'm going to try to not break anything else on this camera and uh, get it all put back together and we'll see if it's going to shoot some more photos. This is too nice a camera to not shoot more photos with. I really hope it works. All right. Peace out for now. Well, the preliminary tests are telling me that it might be working. I still haven't tested the actual shutter speeds. I'm going to do that in a minute. But aperture works the so if i rotate the aperture wheel the aperture opens and closes the shutter speeds the high range seems to work the low range works uh, the shutter is actually closing completely that's the aperture you're seeing right there and all these weird little contraptions and so forth seem to be in the right place and that's a bit of a scary process to get those together. So I'm going to try to get this thing together and test the shutter. And if it works, I will possibly go out and shoot a roll before I glue the leather back down because I don't want to have to peel it back up to get at those screws if I have to <laughs> go back into surgery uh, yet another time. If you ever work on one of these cameras or any camera, it's a real interesting learning experience, but expect to take it apart and reassemble it like 20 times. There's so many little fiddly parts to keep track of and understand how they fit together and how they work together.